my hair care must-haves. Stay tuned! Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Sheila and I am so grateful that you are here. Well, in today's video, I want to talk about my hair care must-haves. Now, I'm not talking about specific product brands because I'm not loyal to any brand. These are just the basics that I have to have for my hair. My hair is dry. It will be 71 in two weeks or so, and I do color it so it's damaged and of course it gets damaged by the sun and so there are certain things that i do to make my hair be in the best shape that it can be now i think my hair care is a very simple routine i know many people try many products and then they only want to use a certain brand or a certain shampoo a certain mousse or whatever. I don't care about any of that. I just try different things as long as I have the basics and what I feel that I need. So let me get started. As far as shampoo and conditioner go, again, I use whatever shampoo I see on sale. I don't care who it's made by. I'll try one next time I try something else. I do not like conditioners, the kind that you put in right after you shampoo and then rinse it back out. They leave my hair too limp. I've tried all different kinds. I just don't like the way they do my hair. So I like a kind of a leave-in conditioner. It can be a spray kind or anything. I only have two products that I am married to and they are my all-time favorites and this is one of them it's a conditioner it's the Shea Moisture Strengthening and Restoring Leave-In Conditioner Black Jamaican Castor Oil I have shown this many times on my channel it's just a white cream this one's down oh I probably have a quarter of it left and after I do wash my hair, I take a big scoop of this and I run it through the ends of my hair. And it works fantastic. I have L from the channel L is for Living to thank for this great find. I do not use a hair dryer at all. I let my hair dry naturally on its own. So after it's dry, I like to put an oil run it through just the very ends. I just kind of rub my hands together and then go down the ends. And it can be any oil. I've used every oil. Jojoba oil, argon oil, castor oil. I recently got this one. It's from a cure and it's marula oil. So it's fine too. I don't care which oil I use, but I do put that on the ends of my hair. I don't use a lot of product in my hair, at least I don't think I do. I do use a mousse, not all over, but just in the crown of my head. Right now I have this one by Rusk. I got it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It just says thicker and mousse, and that works fine, but it can be any mousse. And again, I just work it in the crown of my hair, and that's it. Once my hair dries on its own, it just looks like a big mop. So I use hot rollers to smooth it out and get some curl in it. These are by Remington. I've had them for all oh, three or four years. They're just, just hot rollers that I got from Amazon. Again, it can be any kind of hot roller. As far as combs or brushes, I'll show you what I use, but I don't use those wet brushes and those special detangling brushes and a brush made by this brand or that brand. No, I use one of these picks. 
I've used these for years. I use a wide tooth comb to comb through my hair. Once I take the hot rollers out, I use one of these teasing or rat tail brushes. Get these at Walmart, Amazon, anywhere. I use a rat tail comb like this with the point on the end of it. And the last thing is this little hair pick. This to lift, you know, to put and lift something up like that. And again, I get these at Walmart or Amazon. Then once I comb through my hair, if I see any little flyaways or those little pieces that can stick out from anywhere, I've been using this. It's a Garnier finishing paste. This is what it looks like. It's just a, a white paste, but it's not that real thick, sticky kind of paste like a pomade. Here it is. But I can just rub it around my hands like this. And as you can see, it's just real creamy. It just disappears. So it's not sticky. My hands don't feel sticky. And my hair doesn't feel sticky. And I'll just take my finger and dab it on. Or maybe run it through right here where I feel like I have little pieces that are sticking up. And then, as you know, I rarely wear my hair down. I usually always pull it up, so I like things to hold it up, like claw clips, you know, those big claw clips, they're nice. These kind of clips, I've showed these on my channel before, I think I got a big pack of them at Walmart, you just put all your hair in it and then clip it here and it just hangs in like a, like a long ponytail. If I wear pigtails or one ponytail to the side, I use these little stretchy hair bands. They're perfect. These come in different colors. I usually buy packs of them with different colors. This one's a little fancier. It's got little pearls around it, so that's a cute one for a side ponytail. I use these little claw clips like this. If I just want to bring each side up and I just need a small clip, I use that. The last thing I use are these hair combs. I have the big size like this, and then I have the smaller size like this. Now, these have to be made by Goody. G-O-O-D-Y. I cannot use any other hair comb. They will not stay in my hair. I've tried several. I think Walmart carries them by, is it called scrunchy or scoonchy or something like that? They don't work. They just will not hold my hair. They won't go in tight enough to hold it. I can only use goodie, so I just order them from Amazon. And with all these things I'm talking about, the hair combs and the ties and the clips and everything. I use those because I pull my hair up. If I didn't, I wouldn't have to use all that. I just don't like my hair down. And the last two things that are a must-have for me are a hairspray and a hairspray shield. Now, again, I've said many times on my channel, I'm not loyal to any hairspray. I try different ones. I usually get them at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Whatever's on sale, whatever looks good, I try. I don't like my hair hard and crunchy. So recently, I tried one that I have to say I love it. I have never loved a hairspray. They do their job. They Hold your hair in place. So what's to love about it? But this one I really am loving. It's made by Pantene. It's a lightweight finish. It's alcohol free. Soft touch and controls frizz. I have the level 2. So it's not a real strong hold. Now the thing I don't understand is. You can clearly see the word across here. Finish. But I can't see the word under this label. I mean, this is part of the can. So I don't know if that's supposed to. There's an F and there's an H. So maybe it says fresh finish. I don't know. But anyhow, I really like it because it's lightweight. 
it's non-drying and it doesn't make your hair feel hard and crunchy. I cannot stand for my bangs to move. Is anybody else like that that has bangs? You know, most people, their bangs, I mean, if the wind blew, they just blow around and they land on your forehead again. Oh my gosh, I cannot stand for my bangs to move. I want them to stay right where they're at. So that's where I wear the hairspray, right here, across the front. The rest of this, it doesn't need any hairspray, but this does. Well, it's pretty hard to spray your bangs to where they'll stay in place without getting hairspray on your face, which I would not want to do. And what I love, and I've used this for years, is this hairspray shield. I just love this thing. It's on a long handle, and it's shaped. I hope you can see the shape of it here. It's kind of scooped. So you can put this against your face, clear up to your hairline over here on the sides of your face or wherever you're spraying hairspray. And the spray will go on this shield and will never touch your skin. Isn't that fantastic? Does anybody else use that? Does anybody else have bangs that they spray because they can't stand it if they move? It's probably just another one of my weirdnesses, but I wanted to share it with you. Well, that's really it for me as far as hair products. I don't use a heat protectant spray because I don't blow dry my hair. I don't use all these different products that people put in for this and that and the other. I don't use dry shampoo. I have some, but I don't use it. I usually wash my hair two to three times a week. So really, I think what I use is just pretty plain and simple and easy. I think things can get too complicated. And I've noticed that by watching videos, people's hair care routines, oh my gosh, they're complicated. They involve so many products. It's just kind of like with makeup, you know, when someone does a a makeup tutorial and they use so many different products and do so many things i just can't be bothered i'm a simple girl and i like to keep it simple well now i'm going to leave you with an inside beauty tip proverbs 11:25 says a generous person will prosper whoever refreshes others will be refreshed when i was taking my walk this morning I was thinking about all the things that I receive, the gracious gifts of God that I receive on a daily basis. Mercy, grace, forgiveness, so many gifts, too many to count. But receiving is one thing, giving is something else. We need to be givers as well. We need to give grace and mercy to people, to others in our lives. We need to give encouragement, compassion, forgiveness, generosity, kindness, understanding, a listening ear, a helping hand, and most of all, love. To me, one of the greatest things you can do for yourself is to give to others in all those ways, and so many more. And remember, always give with a cheerful heart. When you give, you receive so much more. I can't even put into words what I receive when I give to others. It's a feeling that I can't even explain. It makes my heart just want to burst with joy and happiness. It's so easy to do, and most of all, it shows who you really are. I thank you so much for being here today. I truly do appreciate it. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya!